Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of God, the merciful benefactor, the merciful redeemer. In the salati wa nusuki wa mahiyaya wa mamiti lillahi rabbil alameen. La sharika lahu wa bithalika umirtu wa anna awalul muslimin. My prayer, my sacrifice, my life, and my death are all for God. He is the first that has commanded me to submit, and that I do. Oh, I want to talk to the believers this morning. I want to talk to the righteous this morning. I want to talk to those people who have woken up and believe in God. I didn't say what community you were from. You obviously don't know who I am. I didn't say what you believe in. And you obviously don't know who I am. My job is to help you on your journey believe and be stronger in what you say you believe. Oh, I may be teaching from my scripture, but I'm teaching you to look back in your scripture to get stronger, to get better, to be more motivated and be more inspirational for your Lord. My subject today comes from the Holy Quran. The Holy Quran says that he's Satan, the devil, a bliss has no power over those who believe. He only has power over those who take him as a God besides God. Oh, I want you to listen to me. Listen to the sweet sounds of the Arabic language. It says, إِنَّهُ لَيْسَ لَهُ أَصُلْتَانُ سُلْتَانُ عَلَّ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَلَّ رَبِّهِمْ يَتَوَكَّلُونَ إِنَّمَا أَصُلْتَانُهُ عَلَّ الَّذِينَ يَتَوَلَّوْ أَنَّهُ أَوَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ بِهِ مُشْكُرُونَ مُشْرِكُونَ Huh? It says Satan has no authority over those who believe in their Rabb, in their Lord. He only has power over those who take him as a patron besides God, as a God besides God. Get ye behind me, Satan. Whoa, man, this, this fires me up to be up to be living, to have an opportunity to follow God and his message. You better listen to me this morning because I'm fired up. Listen to me. The devil, the Arabic word says, you wis wisu. He whispers into the, the fuad or the cold of men. He whispers doubt into your mind. He whispers dissension into your mind. He whispers weakness into your mind. Sometimes it comes from your own mind. But most of the time it comes from your family. Most of the time it comes from your loved ones. Most of the time it comes from your friends. Most of the time it comes from your loved ones. Most of the time it even comes from those people who call themselves your mentors. Oh, I want you to hear me. You see, when God gives you a mission... When God gives you a destiny, when God gives you a place to be and a destination, he's an obligation on you to make that mission. Oh, there are going to be a lot of people telling you and whispering in your ear, you can't make it. It's too far for you. It's beyond your capabilities. You don't have the resources. Oh, but with God, all things are possible. Oh, but with God, he's going to bring in the resources. He's going to bring in the people. He's going to bring everything you need to get to that destination. But you can't have the whispers of the Satan or the devil or your friends or your mentors or your colleagues whispering to you to tell you you can't make it. You see, Satan only has authority over those who don't believe. Ooh, let me calm down, man. I love life. I love God and I love his people. I'm talking to the believers this morning. I don't care what title you give yourself, whether you are a Christian, whether you are Jewish, whether you are Buddhist, whether you are Muslim. I'm talking to the believers this morning. This is the book without Doubt to who? Those who believe. I'm speaking to the believers this morning. 
The Holy Quran says, listen to me, that Satan has no power over those who trust in their Lord. He only has power over those who take him as a friend and a God besides God. You have a destination to reach. You have a goal to reach. You have a place in time. Qadr. Hmm? Predestination. That God has assigned you. But you got to do the work. Man shall have what he strives for. And soon his striving will be seen. God has a place for you, but you can't take the devil's advice. You got to tell the devil, even if it shows up in your friend, as one scripture says, says, get ye behind me, Satan. It may not even be your friend. It may be an unruly spirit in your friend. You see, when your friends, so-called friends, tell you you can't do something, you're too old, you're too fat, you're too unlikely. You can't do that because that job ain't for you. It ain't for a woman. It ain't for a Christian. It ain't for a Muslim. Oh, you tell them, get ye behind me, Satan. <laughs> get ye behind me, Satan, because what my Lord has promised is true. Oh, my God. You see, Satan has no power over those who say they believe and put their trust in their Lord. He only has power over those who take him as a God besides God. The, the, the Quran says, Wahadainahu Najadain. I have shown man two highways. What are those two highways, Shabazz? God and the devil, righteousness and unrighteousness, goals and those people who have been deceived by the, by the master craftsman, by the person who is always whispering in your ear telling you you can't do. You see, you are the sum total of the five people you hang around. You will never be an eagle hanging around chickens. Huh? I only hang around people who tell me, man, you can do it. Man, I believe in you. This is what you need to do to be successful. All the others, hmm, the people of the left hand, I dismiss. I get rid of. I tell them to go on their way until they're mature enough to handle the relationship. with Rabbil Alameen. With the God, the Lord of the heavens and the earth. Oh, as I close here, because I got to take care of some business, but I have to take care of you first, believers. I got to take care of you first, believers. And again, I didn't say what you believe in. <laughs> That's inconsequential to me. I am a speaker of truth. I'm a speaker to empower people to ensure they're on their right path. They're on their right destiny. As I close here, the Holy Quran says, Satan, Iblis, the master deceiver, has no power over those who put their trust in their Lord. He only has power over those who take him as a god or a patron a God besides God. That devil comes in the form of friends who are not supportive. That devil comes in the form of colleagues, and loved ones who like to limit you. That devil even comes from mentors who tell you that's not uh, applicable to you. You can't get that. That's not the chosen path. <laughs> the believers 
put their trust in their Lord. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatan wa fi lakirati hasan wa kina zabana Rabbana la tuzik kulubina ba'da ahda daytana wa hablana min ladunka rahmatu inna ka anta wahad Rabbi zid in the ilma God give us the best of this world and that of the hereafter Don't let our hearts deviate after you have guided us to the truth Increase us in knowledge Make us warriors for your word Make us empower those who are around us Fear Manila, go in God's peace. Assalamu alaikum.